seems that everything costs more these days, including some of our holiday traditions. Action News Now reporter Jordan Henry is live at a Reading Christmas tree lot. Jordan, what exactly is driving up prices? Haley, it seems Christmas tree prices go, are going up everywhere. I spoke to the owner here who tells me the increase of prices has to do with trucking, fuel, and labor costs. And Collie has owned Collie's tree farm for four years. He says raising his prices was unavoidable. Um, but we, even with uh, fuel prices, trucking prices, labor prices, we've still had about a 3 to $5 increase per tree this year since last year. He grows his own trees, so he isn't as affected as other Christmas tree sellers. The shortage has really affected everybody in the industry. Uh, there's been a shortage for about four or five years now, and it seems like we're just about to start getting out of that. And then a heat wave across the Pacific Northwest really destroyed a pretty high percentage of trees that would have come to market this year. So it basically raised prices and, you know, there's less demand and the prices, prices went up from the wholesale tree growers. But that hasn't affected business one bit. He says this year people are coming to buy Christmas trees more than ever. Um, nobody has seemed to, uh, too concerned about the price. I think they understand that it's just really everything's uh, experience, experiencing some inflation right now. Shopper Stacy Jones says she doesn't care about the price of the tree. She just wants to find the perfect one for her son. Like it's just more fun for the family to pick out the tree. Then we go home and decorate it. It's for the experience more. It's something they do every year, especially with COVID. Everything's kind of been shut down for a while. I think it was really nice to come out it's part of the family. We get to pick out which tree we want. So I think it's just more of a tradition. It's more holiday. Holly tells me his farm will be open for anybody who wants a tree Monday through Sunday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Live in Reading, Jordan Henry, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on.